every every snap, that bitch got two snaps back. Bitch, I've been doing this for ten. Ten decades, bitch. Ten decades in the shit. A hundred years, Jocelyn. A hundred years, bitch. Ten decades. A hundred years. A hundred years. This bitch been doing this for. This bitch is a grand turtle in the reality of the TV industry. A hundred years, Jocelyn. A hundred years. Uh huh, bitch. Try again. Follow me on social media, my Facebook, my Instagram, my Snapchat. Bitch, I got on the motherfucking radio yesterday. Hold on, I have to tell y'all, bitch. I got on the motherfucking radio yesterday. Mainstream radio. Shout out to y'all. I got. I went to a sneaker ball yesterday. Shut it down. Y'all know how I do with the outfits, bitch. I'm, I'm gonna represent the game, bitch. I'm gonna represent y'all the right way. Bitch, they put, they put me on the motherfucking stage. Bitch, I got an interview on the radio. Bitch, my songs got played. I got a performance coming up. Get it ready, Jay Insane. It's going to be that girl. Y'all know, y'all been like, oh, bitch, why you ain't posted, bitch? I literally got on the whole radio station yesterday. Like, I be working, y'all. I do not just be. YouTube is not my only. I do, definitely my main. I'm not gonna say it's not you no know, my main source. You y'all my bitches, but my music I have to I have to push, bitch. I'm starting from square one. Like how I used to back in the day when I was a little guppy bitch and I'm starting from square one. I'm starting square one with the music, so I really have to like promote myself and really have to like put myself aside from other people just to make myself stand out. Like y'all know, back in the day, which I had to make. You know, making moves. I had to make videos that people didn't really you know make. I had to do shit that on YouTube and say shit that people didn't really say. So. That's what I'm just doing for the music. I'm trying to get my name out there, so just give me a little time. I'm trying to be one of the bitches, because that's what I'm going to be. That's what we're, we're all here to do. Y'all here to support, and I'm here to represent. Period. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's going on, insane gang? This is me back in on the fucking video, bitch. As y'all can see from the title, this is what y'all been waiting for. This is what y'all been wanting to see. Let me get a little closer. Hold on. And get into the motherfucking shit, y'all. As y'all can see from the motherfucking title, we are talking about the Jocelyn Capabray fucking reunion part one beat. As of today, here we are. This reunion was really, really actually kind of crazy to me. Cause it was like, it really kicked off really quick when fucking Jocelyn did her big one. No bad, Jocelyn, this whole reunion was doing her big one. She came for the shit. Like she was on Love and Hip Hop again. She said it's a whole bunch of bitches in here. I run this shit. She probably took a couple shots, did a little behind, st behind stage, and she just came out and where it was, she was on 10, bitch. That bitch was on 20. She went on 10, bitch. Jocelyn came out on 20, bitch. She said, you hoes gonna respect me. Let's go ahead and get into the motherfucking review. So we just come in with Jocelyn dancing on the stage again. I fast forward to that part. I don't know about, about if y'all did too, but bitch, I've seen you perform on the stage to the same fucking song. Hella times now, we seen y'all practice it. I, I, we saw the season finale. I don't want to see it again, okay? This is the reunion, baby. I don't, I'm, we didn't come for that. So then now all the girls walk into the set or whatever, coming out the car, it's very BGC. I feel like this was very BGC. I'm sorry, it just, it just gave me like, BGC vibes like a motherfucker like that's how they kind of how they was trying to spin it. So now everybody up in the dressing whatever and then they got Barbie, Natural, and Boss Tech all in one room. So Barbie say somebody shitting in her bathroom. Basically one of the security guards went home up with a bathroom and took a number three and blew that bitch down. So she was like talking to her shit about that and Boss Tech was talking about how she was happy to be in LA. You know Boss Tech always happy to do some shit. Regardless of whatever that bitch doing, that bitch could be yelling and that bitch still gonna smile. And then Barbie said that she didn't um, left the show behind her but now she back. So I guess she didn't plan on coming to re 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 I mean, even if she did, I didn't expect her to come to reunion because, like, you know, bitch, she didn't really do nothing on the show but talk shit and get her ass to be. So, I mean, if you want the Julie treatment, then that's what you can do. Bobby say they didn't get no clips of her running up or they didn't get no clips of her fighting. It was only clips of her getting her ass to be. And then that's when Miss Natural was like, let me shut up. Because, bitch, I don't think it was any clips of you winning no fights. I'm sorry. I only saw when they had altercation shit, your ass was getting your shit mocked both times. So, that's why Miss Natural like just like I'ma be quiet. <laughs> Cause she like, bitch, I don't remember them clips, and bitch, I don't remember them either. Uh, Zeus asked the girls, like, you know, did they grow from the show? Baltic said she got a lot of promo, a lot of people fuck with her and Chanel. Um, and Chanel was wearing her clothes and then went and talked about her to Sapphire. And I'm like, nah, Chanel was on the motherfucking show wearing bitches clothes. Like, bitch, if you know you finna be on the show, bitch, I'm finna have my outfit stacked. Every motherfucking show, bitch, you gonna have a new look, bitch. I don't give a fuck what we do. We go to the beach, bitch. I would have a motherfucking linen pantsuit on, bitch. At the fucking beach, bitch. This is the outfit that I plan for this day. So that's what the fuck we gonna wear, bitch. Barbie said that Chanel was wearing her clothes too. So I don't fuck with that. Like, if y'all gonna go out of y'all way to be nice and talk about it, if y'all gonna go out of y'all way to, you know, help a bitch out, don't go run back and be like, oh, that bitch was wearing I hate hoes like that. I really do. Like, I hate hoes like that with a passion because if I let my friend wear something or, like, you know, I leave something at my friend house and then I scroll down, like, on the timeline or something, I see them wearing 
anything like you know i don't i would make a big deal out of it because one thing about it i know my style and i know that if i'm when i do wear if i wore already i probably didn't wear it in the same way you did and then if you wore them and you you like you like you like my style so i wouldn't go out of my way and just be like oh no this dirty ass bitch went like girl like calm the fuck down it's not giving all of that so now um they talking about Chanel um drunk night with Boss Tech and how like she should have um you know came uh to Boss Tech better instead of running to Sapphire talking about her and then Natural talking about some like you know defending her like girl she wasn't even really doing it like that she was just more mad at you because you was acting fucking crazy and then you wanted to run back in the house and be fucking like why why you even talk to me bitch why well, don't I need to talk to you bitch you acting crazy if a bitch acting crazy and I'm trying to help your dumb ass bitch and you want to keep acting crazy like let's say a bitch out here running in my fucking street drunk as hell. I'm going to get the fuck out of the street, bitch, you drunk as fuck. I go help, try to help that bitch, that bitch swing on me. Bitch, I'm not finna help you, ho. Get here by a fucking guardian, bitch. I'm not your fucking guardian angel, bitch. No. Natural was basically just trying to, like, you know, tell them, like, girl, like, she wouldn't even give me all of that, like, y'all doing too much. Boss was still trying to do her big one and trying to be, just be like, oh, no, I'm getting into it with her, blah, 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 whatever. So then Natural didn't say, like, she don't want to be talked to about, talked to like a kid and she want people to respect her at the reunion. And I, I'm, I'm looking for that too, because Jocelyn definitely got a little big headed with the whole, like, she run a show. Like, you can run a show, but you can do it in a classy way. You can do it in a way that, like, the girls actually respect you. Bitch, you out here trying to demand bitches like a dictator, bitch. She say, hoes gonna stand in line when I walk in, sit up straight, I don't give a fuck. Five, what? Like, bitch. Jocelyn is not playing, not her, she's her, her big ball, big ball. She is dragging her balls all around her ball. 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 And then any bitch, any bitch, Crunch, crunch. Period. So then that's when Zeus asked the girls again, what y'all want to get out of the reunion? And then Natural says she want to be yummy ass. And I'm like, that's all I came here for, baby. That's all I came to see, bitch. If you gonna get any bitch, you better get her. And I, it didn't even look like she got her to me. I was like, in the clips, like when they was arguing, like Yummy was like, I don't care. I don't care. Like, bitch, if you hit me in my fucking head with you, and bitch, I ask you why the fuck you do this shit, you say, bitch, I don't care, bitch, I'm gonna bank you. I don't fuck what to talk about. I don't fuck how cute I look, bitch. You literally gonna just say, I don't care. I don't care. Like, Yummy gonna irritate me. I know she'll irritate me because that's what she does. She irritates the fuck out of me. So when her clips come, part two, so I need to be her ass. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to get her. And then Barbie says she came because she wanted to get her point across. I don't know what point she got to get across. Bitch, you came in there trying to bully on Lucky and she beat your ass. It's a common storyline. We see it all the time. Tokyo and that other girl did it too. She she came on Love Hip Hop trying to bully Tokyo. Tokyo treat the fuck out that bitch and say, bitch, I'm not no booger, bitch. You can't pick me. Fuck around, get your nose. Stop bleeding. Try to pick me. Bitch, stop playing. So now we're going to room with Chanel and Aqua. And then Chanel really is typing some. She, um. She never every month so gave me good energy. Like she went on no old messy shit or she went on old like I'm trying to see what bitches trying to do this and that. Like her and Aqua was really just having a cool conversation. And I just feel like girls like that do get bullied a lot of times that just be on some cool shit, like laid back shit, like not really trying to, you know, be all in the camera. Like she looked really pretty at three. I feel like she was definitely one of the best looking bitches there at three and that bitch was beat it. And her hair was done, bitch. So Aqua say she don't feel no type of way towards nobody. Of course she still don't say that because she don't want to get her ass beat, bitch. She know it's the bitches out here. That's gunning for you, sweetie. So of course you won't not feel the type of way. So she was giving me very like, oh, I'm over it. Um, like she kind of didn't want to be there, bad. But it's like, bitch, you was talking all that shit, and then a bitch bopped you in your shit, and then now you ran up on her and she beat your ass again, and now you don't want to be at the reunion. Bitch, you shouldn't have ran up the second time. Should let the first fight be the first fight. You tried to run up and do a fucking ninja sumo kick, and she caught your ass out the air. What the fuck did you expect? So then Aqua didn't say that she didn't keep up with the show after um she had like you know she left off the motherfucking shit. I'm pretty sure that's a lie, bitch. If I'm on the show, I'm gonna fuck if the shit was up. I'm gonna see what happened next. So when I come to you, I'm not fucking confused. So girl, stop calm down, Aqua. You know damn well, bitch. This shit is not beneath you for real. That's why Jocelyn ain't running around mad now, cause bitch is acting a little too big. Calm the fuck down for the. Prodrick Princess start beheading bitches. So then that's when Lunel come. I, I live for Lunel. I love how, like, you know, they got her for the, to be the host because I feel like, you know, none of the girls really gonna disrespect her, come at her crazy. Jocelyn definitely could have been the host by herself. Them bitches would have jumped on her on stage. So I'm glad they got, like, six different bitches on the stage. Because Jocelyn is, she on 20, bitch. Jocelyn is doing her big one. So now, Lunel, they ask Lunel, like, what she thinking about, who she want to talk to. She said she want to tell Miss Natural to pipe down because she doing all that yelling shit and it's not going to get her point across. One thing about I'm really tired of people telling Miss Natural to pipe down because Miss Natural is really only saying what the fuck needs to be said. A lot of shit Miss Natural be saying really be some real ass shit. And people don't want her to talk because she get loud with bitch. Y'all don't be listening to her when she be acting regular. So she got to yell. And when she yell, bitch, she, get, she gets there. Like, I, I really love, I live for Natural. Jocelyn start her shit. This is the point now in the reunion when Jocelyn starts her shit. Jocelyn starts her shit. 
So they motherfucker have a meeting or whatever. Jocelyn got this motherfucker, Tina Turner, rolling the river rig like she in motherfucking the 70s disco, knowing she was doing coke in the back. I know, I know she was doing coke. Can't nobody tell me this bitch was not doing coke in the back. She was doing... I know damn well that bitch was doing coke in the back. Bitch, you was doing coke. You was doing coke, bitch. You was doing coke in the back. Jocelyn, bitch, you was doing coke. You did a line, and you came out, and you did your big one. So we gonna watch it. I guess they had a whole meeting or whatever, and she's saying, like, she told them there, like, she happy that she got help to get the bitches in line. And when she have the bitches together, she tell motherfucker Sapphire, bitch, your daddy already did, but you need to get over it. And I'm like, Jocelyn, you busted out the woodworks and wanted all the bitches to not like you. She said, bitch, I need to have this. This needs to be something to be memorable. And this bitch say, girl, fuck your dear daddy. Get the fuck over it. It's a fucking show. Come correct. And she said that shit and did not give a fuck. Didn't flinch, didn't shed a tear. After she said that shit, bitch, the girls went cuckoo nuts. Sapphire outside going crazy. Natural going outside going crazy. Lucky outside going crazy. They hugging Sapphire because she starts screaming out there. She's like, he's not a baby daddy. He was a father. And she's like, I'm sorry. I was dying. That, that thing was a key. They be saying, he's a fucking father. Not a baby daddy. You got a baby daddy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keyed at that scene because bitch, they was they was they was doing their big one. Everybody was mad as fuck. Jocelyn said, bitch, I'ma set the motherfucking energy. And then she be doing the same thing. She done had a pimp, she didn't hold, she done was a stripper, so she can relate to the girls. Big legs making sapphire feel better. Somebody's gonna be okay. Then the now they outside kicking it. And um all the girls basically talking their shit about Jocelyn. They just seeing like, you know, she bogus as hell. Like, why would she talk about her like that? Back in the scene, it's like it's like they going back up, like they got the bitches outside going crazy. They got Jocelyn and Lunel up in there toasting and shit, not giving a fuck. Like, it's very so like chaotic and then it's like calm. And it's like chaotic and it's like calm. It's like Jocelyn just said some crazy ass shit, but then you show her like not giving a fuck about saying it. All get on the stage, finally, damn. And um, Big Lex, Sapphire, and Natural was all sitting down. And Big Lex talking to um, Sapphire saying like, bitch, if a bitch come for me, bitch, I'm scratching that bitch face off. Like, she like, you feel this? And Sapphire like, oh, this shit, that bitch hurt. But I love Big Lex. I'm sorry, yes, bitch. Cut them hoes. Y'all see my nails right now? Yes, bitch, they is not in the best motherfucking thing because I was fucking up north in Boys Town and a bitch really tried to get into it with me, like, pushed me out the way when I was at the motherfucking bar because they couldn't find their fucking wallet. And I'm like, bitch, don't push me, what the fuck? And this bitch yelling all in my face, like, is you crazy, ho? Like, so I bit my nails off and I'm like, okay, bitch, so what you want to do, bitch? I'm outside acting binge just fucking. The security guy walked up to me because we was in each other's face. He like, oh, um, we don't know where your wallet is. I'm like, bitch, you can't even find your fucking wallet. Like, you out here mad as fuck cause at me. In real life, when you really mad, cause bitch, you don't got no money right now. So broke bitch, go get you some money. And I'm like, I'm not even gonna fight this bummy ass bitch. One thing about it, bitch, even if I don't got my wallet, bitch, my account stay stacked. I got Apple Pay, Cash App, Zelle, Venmo. What you wanna do? What am I gonna bitch like you for? Is I'm crack, girl? Bye. Then the bitch was ugly as hell. Had fucking eczema on her ass. Everything, girl. Bye. But I mean, I broke my nails. The nails say like, you know, she wore her hooker shoes in order to celebrate the girls. And then she tell the girls like, you know, that Jocelyn put them on and they need to be happy. Like they got the TV opportunity and without Jocelyn, like y'all wouldn't have got this opportunity. So just be happy. So I guess Jocelyn told her to tell her, tell the girls that before she came out. Cause I'm pretty sure like she wasn't gonna say that at first. They go down the line, they talk about all the girls. I only put the relevant people who actually like said something. Bostick said she the princess and Big Lex kind of like raw ass. I'm like everybody a princess. So I guess they got beef cause bitch, I ain't know they was beefing before the show, but bitch, when Boss Tech had said something, bitch, she was like, oh, everybody a princess. So I'm like, oh shit, y'all finna get into it. So that's when they asked about Chanel sitting by herself, and then they like, girl, don't start, because don't nobody like Chanel. And then Lexi Blow, they asked her why they call her Lexi, or she said, because I asked off like white powder. I'm like, period. That's the baddest bitch. That's the bitch who should've won. Let's really talk about it. That's the bitch who should've motherfucking won. Then they said Big Lex, and Big Lex, you know, she pop her shit, Big Lex a motherfucking flexor, you know, all that shit. So now Ballistic come in. And then the host, like, you know, looking at him, like, I just noticed that, like, the host, the girl, like, with the little pointed, like, you know, Dragon Ball Z outfit, <laughs> she, um, she had, like, was looking all in ballistic ass, like, but she want a piece, like, I live for Justin, man, but he ain't the finest thing in the world, like, sometimes they be doing a little too much, like, he cute, but, but she ain't, like, oh damn, like, oh shit, like, his demeanor does make him a lot cuter than he actually look, but, girl, like, okay, he cute, but, bitch, Calm down. Lunel says she um he's a strong man for not, you know, wanting to talk to none of the girls and doing his big one and saying like, you know, he good for, you know, actually wanting to be with Jocelyn, bitch. Of course she's not gonna talk to some of these bitches. He is on the show with the bitch who show it is. Why would he talk to a contestant when I'm talking to the host? That don't make sense. I said come finally, finally this bitch come show her motherfucking face. And this bitch can carry by some niggas. Now I did not live for this interest at all. And I'm you see the girls that I live for the interest either because it gave you very like 
Jocelyn kind of like a man, and then there was a whole bunch of men around her. So it was like, damn, we finna, this bitch, big gladiator bitch coming out. Like, I just didn't live, and Jocelyn trying to do her little sex cinch. It just, it, it didn't give what she was supposed to give. She liked a fucking, like, from the 70s show, like, that 70s show. Like, she didn't give me, I don't know what, what the fuck she had on. She, she had some fat outfits on Instagram that she could have wore, but I don't know why the fuck she wore this fucking rolling in the ripper ass shit. Like, I did not like the hair, the outfit, the shoes. Like, I didn't like nothing. Hated it all. I'm sorry. I, it wasn't, it wasn't guilty. Like, Lunel looked look better than her. Really, if you want to talk about Lunel, 800. Now, Jocelyn come out. The girl's rolling her ass. It's kind of awkward because it's like it's still going on. We all like sitting waiting like, okay, like, bitch. I'm pretty sure they cut, cut hella parts out because, bitch, it's editing. You know how editing is. So we all just looking like, okay, 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 like, okay, like, okay, Jocelyn. Bitch. Okay, bitch, we get it. I mean, Jocelyn finally sit down and then Jocelyn tell about some, it's some hoes up in here hating. <laughs> And I'm like, ooh, Jocelyn finna start her shit. Jocelyn finna do her big one. She said, I see you hoes looking mean and ugly. Bitch, that's my favorite part of the whole reunion. Let me say, I see you hoes looking mean and ugly. <laughs> bitch, she was mad them hoes were not clapping for her because, bitch, your entrance was too long and then it wasn't even that grand. Like, you could have gave us, like, a big fucking veil or, like, some big train or they could have threw, like, rose petals or something or, like, flat. Like, that would have been sick then, but you can't carry by some niggas. Like, who the fuck is these random ass niggas? Why the fuck you got on a fucking WWE 70s fucking wrestling outfit? Like, I don't, I'm, I'm just lost. Now, Jocelyn on the couch, just mean mugging the bitches. Then she started popping her shit quick as hell. Talking about, you bitches ain't on shit. Y'all bitches out <laughs> She's talking about, y'all bitches out here motherfucking mugging and shit. This, this the hang bitch, this the hang bitch couch. I'm Jocelyn, calm the fuck down. Then she get up. I'm like, Jocelyn came to her room to fight. Jocelyn did not come to be no host. I'm pretty sure that's why they got six other fucking hosts sitting next to her. This bitch came to her shit to fight. She want to get her big clip. She want her shit to go viral. She ready to smack her, bitch. Um, Nash said she gonna treat Jocelyn how she treat her in the big legs, like, period. Because, bitch, who the fuck is she? So then that's what Lunel talking about. They strippers, hoes, and prostitutes and shit. And then all the girls like, bitch, we ain't hoes. Like, what the fuck y'all talking about? But, like, yeah, bitch, why the fuck they, they so comfortable calling them, like, hoes and strippers? And, like, just because you a stripper don't make you a hoe. Like, and then Barbie a hoe because she said she was a hoe. But it's everybody else like, oh, bitch, calm down. Like, we ain't hoes. Bitch, she a hoe, but I ain't no hoe. Now they watch the um, best moments of the show and they just, you know, go back to the clips and shit. And they say, like, you know, Big Lex say, like, they picked the best clips. So then now it's Big Lex and Jocelyn. And we know that's what the fuck was supposed to happen. Like, everybody knew that Big Lex and Jocelyn had got into it. And then Jocelyn say the reason they here. Is because um she got renewed for a new show and then Big Lex like bitch anything we do is for Jocelyn anything we the viral moments that we had was for you bitch like you could have had some weird ass weak ass bitches up in here that ain't popping no shit and make your show flop but instead like we out here you know making moments and making your show big and at the same time like they do need to give Big Lex her flowers because Big Lex was a big fucking thing for Jocelyn let's not play with her at all, bitch. Double homicide, bitch. She put that fucking wig in her pussy, bitch. She said, um, well, quite frankly, she, the, that meme when she was just like, well, I, I, I kind of don't give a fuck. Like, that that was sickening. Like, she fucking fought, um, the, the elf looking bitch. And then she went and fought the other bitch, like, and she real boss take wig off, like, Big Lex definitely made the show. Let's talk about it. Big Lex definitely was a big part of the show. So Jocelyn, regardless if she tell me, oh, I'll put you on, you got your spot. Like, she definitely, that double hot and fat thing literally was what made everybody, okay, I'm finna watch this. Because that was put the show on the map. So nobody was really checking for the season two like that until they seen that the bitches was Benji. Come on now. So that's what we kind of with um, Big Lex saying to Jocelyn. And then Jocelyn just treated her ass and was like, bitch. We could have had any other hoe in this shit, bitch. The reason that you hear from season two is because season one did so good. Bitch, the season one did this shit, and season one, season two was gonna do this shit because season one did this shit, bitch. So appreciate it. Jocelyn was doing her big one. Jocelyn was doing her big one. She was letting these bitches know. I am Jocelyn Hernandez, bitch. You hoes beneath me, and she wanted the bitches to know. Like, I ain't feel like the bitches were beneath her, but she wanted the bitches to know, bitch, you are beneath me. Natural come and defend Big Legs and was like, girl, like, you know, just basically just, you know, taking up her shit. And then that's when Jocelyn like, bitch, you take pills. You a fucking liar. I'm just like, whoa, whoa. Jocelyn is doing her big one. Like, Jocelyn just came to her and did her big one. Bitch, you take crazy pills. I can't even, I can't even, I can't believe shit that come out your mouth. I'm like, girl. Jocelyn say, bitch, you a fucking porn star. Bitch, I got a family. Like, who the fuck is you? And then naturally, like, bitch, I'm a legend. And Jocelyn like, bitch, you still sucking dick on the side. 
That bitch like, bitch, you still sucking dick, still sneaky sucking dick on the side, bitch. Like, you ain't no fucking legend. Jocelyn is doing her big one. And I, I'm not gonna say I'm not living for it because I don't like how she acting. But girl, she is doing it very well. I'm gonna say that. The bitch is getting the hoes right together. And I, I can't take that from her. Every, every snap, that bitch got two snaps back. Bitch, I've been doing this for 10, 10 decades, bitch. 10 decades in the shit. 100 years, Jocelyn. 100 years, bitch. 10 decades, 100 years. 100 years. This bitch been doing this for, this bitch is a grand turtle in the reality of the TV industry. 100 years, Jocelyn. 100 years. <laughs> Natural like, bitch, there will be no season three. That bitch say, bitch, you want the coming back. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, you, bitch, you wasn't coming back. What? You wasn't, bitch, you wasn't, you wasn't getting off season three. What you talking about? Jocelyn's doing her big one. I'm sorry, she's doing her big one. That's when Jocelyn say, um, she leaving the reunion. Um, if Natural not get off the stage, which ain't gonna be no reunion. So that's when they get Natural off the stage. Jocelyn pop her shit. Natural pop her shit. Natural say she not gonna go out there and be fake. Jocelyn is hurt full as hell, and people need to know what the fuck is wrong. Don't come in the show thinking you finna get like good promotion exposure. This bitch is gonna treat you and verbally abuse you, and that's what the fuck she said, and that's what the fuck happened. So I feel like yes, she needs to up her piece and talk her shit. Who the fuck is Jocelyn tell me, bitch? I can't talk, bitch. I can talk. I don't know why Jocelyn feel like she just indestructible. So I need to pop her ass. Like somebody need to pop her. Somebody needs to pop Jocelyn. I'm sorry. At this point, pop that bitch. They all up in the backstage and shit. Now she got kicked off the stage. She like, you record me? Get that camera on my face. So you're not going to stop recording me? <laughs> and then that's when she come back. She like, y'all want to get hit, don't y'all? And you a woman, so I can beat your ass. <laughs> Keep playing me. I said, Stop recording me, bitch. Y'all want to get y'all ass beat up, y'all. And you a bitch. So you better tell him to stop recording me before I beat your ass. <laughs> this gave me very much so candy and Taylor. She said, And if your mama called me to respect me, I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> Next time on motherfucking Joss Cabaret, we got Stevie J and Jocelyn part two when they finna get into a big Lex. So I definitely am looking forward to it. Let me know in the comments what y'all best part of the motherfucking me was. It definitely was, I see you hoes looking mean. And uh, <laughs> Jocelyn is doing her big one. Let me know how y'all feel. Is y'all team Jocelyn or y'all team Big Legs? Cause that's or y'all team Natural. It's team Jocelyn, team Big Legs, or team Natural. Who team is y'all? I'm definitely team Natural. I love Big Legs, but Jocelyn eating her ass up. If anybody can verbally get into it with Jocelyn and do that big one, it's gonna be Natural, and that's why she doing her off the stage because she know she can't verbally compete with Natural. Natural gonna really speak her piece. She from Gary, Indiana, but she got Chicago in her damn. So Chicago bitches always gonna pop her shit. She probably been around hella Chicago bitches, so she know how to you know use her words wisely. That's the motherfucking video. And same gang, since we out. Ah!